everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my January favorites. So today I'm gonna be going over all the products that I was loving in the month of January and I am back recovering from COVID. <laughs> I do have like shortness of breath, so if I do sound out of breath, that's why. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. But if you're new here, hi, my name's Anna. I upload videos five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I'd love to have you come join. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I have one skincare favorite that I just wanted to like turn you guys on to. If you have acne, <laughs> this is gonna be your lifesaver. This is the this is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid and Hydrous Solution 2%. So it's formulated for blemish prone skin. It's like an oil, but you just take a little bit. I'm not going to now, but you take a little bit of solution, just kind of put it on your hand and kind of pat the area and it dries out the zit. That's all. <laughs> this is amazing. Love this so much. Um, I have had it for about a month and I have gone through it pretty quickly. <laughs> um, I just kind of like hit the spots because I usually get some like around my jawline sometimes. The forehead is an area of concern for me and it just knocks out those zits. So I love that. And if you do have um, more acne prone skin, this is good for you. Just be warned that even though it is an oil, it does kind of dry out your skin a little bit. So don't put it everywhere. <laughs> Um, unless you do have like, you know, cystic acne. So yeah, really, really enjoyed this, this past month. I wanted to give a shout out to a foundation that I have been loving for a hot minute and that you guys need to know about if you have not um, tried it yet. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Selfie Longwear Foundation and Concealer. And I feel like I mentioned this in my December favorites, but I'm gonna mention it again. I'm wearing it today. I did a get ready with me. It's gonna be up on Thursday. This is awesome this is a phenomenal foundation i'm in the shade lp2 um it also unscrews so if you want to conceal with it honestly still have not done that but i mean what are you gonna do this is so nice i love the way it just builds up on my skin without looking like too crazy or too cakey um it is more expensive it's like 36 bucks i got this from ulta 21 days of beauty last year and i love it I love it, love it, love it. So if you're looking for a really nice light, I know I'm gonna sound really like um, contradictory here, but if you're looking for a really nice full coverage foundation and that's light, this is it for you. I highly recommend it. And this is also the foundation, I think anyways. It has like 100 shades on the Pure website. On Ulta, they don't have as many, I think they have like 40, which is still a good amount. Highly recommend you guys checking this out. So, um, I wanted to mention this highlighter from Tarte. I tested this out a couple weeks ago on my channel. I love it, I'm wearing it today. Oh, it is so cute. But this is the Tarte Champagne Glow Amazonian Clay Shimmering Light. Well, the shade name is Champagne Glow. So I really wanna get the rose gold one. Like I'm really tempted, but sometimes rose gold highlighters are a little too dark on me. So I need to go in the store and just like look at it <laughs> to make sure it looks right. But I bought the Champagne Glow because I felt like that was just gonna be like a better shade like right up front, if you know what I mean. So I bought this and I love it. I love this. This is a little more expensive, it's like 30 bucks, but if you're looking for a really nice highlighter, this is beautiful. And it blends on the skin so nicely as you can see here. Oh my gosh, I just love it. So yeah, um, I love this time of year because like there are so many new makeup releases and um i really enjoy seeing everything and like you know that new cloud foundation from tarte i want to try like i want to get the other one of these like this is just a good time of year for makeup launches i've really been getting back into this blush palette this month and this is the oh my gosh <laughs> this is the jacqueline cosmetics rouge romance rouge affair matte blush palette so this is the pink one I still really want the reddish one, but I'm like, do I need it? Like, let me know. Do I need the red one? Hype me up or talk me down. Like, I just need to know. But I love these blushes. I've been really getting into blush. That's something I really want to, like, expand on because I feel like, you know, I really, like, always want to get an eyeshadow palette or I always want to get the lip stuff, but I want to try more blushes and stuff. So that's what I really like. This is, I, I love this. <laughs> I love this so much. My favorites, hmm, I'd have to say my favorites are, ooh, yeah, okay, French Kiss and then um, Admirer. These two are my favorites, but I've tried all of them. They all look so beautiful on the skin. And first off, I love the packaging too. Like, I just love everything about this. 
So tell me, do I need the red one or not? Like I also want to get the Laura Lee <laughs> blush palette too. Yikes, like <laughs> I want to get too many items right now. Okay, a couple of eyeshadow palettes that I reviewed this month. I just want to give a really good shout out because I loved these. Um, the first ones are these ColourPop ones. Um, I, these were found at Ulta, part of like a spring collection. Um, this one is called So Fly. Oh my gosh, it's like pinky neutral. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then the Wanna Be palette, which I think I like more. I don't know, I just love a good warm. I think this just really just gravitates with like my hair color and my eye color. Just really like it. These are retailed for like I think 13 or 14 each. Really good deal. The quality is there. Um, I did a full dedicated review on this, and so I will link them down below. And I highly recommend them. Um, they're so nice. I love the ColourPop eyeshadow formula in general. So yeah, if you are looking even for a good gift, these are would be really nice. Next, um, the Too Femme Ethereal Eyeshadow Palette from Too Faced. While I'm a little disappointed with how small it is, I am not disappointed with the quality. I think this quality is super nice. It's a really nice spring palette. I love the colors in here. I love that we get some beautiful, like, springtime, like, pink shades. Oh, I need that right now. Like, you guys, <laughs> it's winter here. I live in the Midwest. It's cold. It was like negative 20 earlier this week. I hate winter with a passion. So anytime, this time of year especially, I can get a springtime themed makeup product, I'm all down for it. I highly, highly recommend this. This was 48 bucks, I think. So yeah, really, really great product. Cracked open two new mascaras this month and these have been favorites of mine for a long time. And you guys just like need to hear about them. So first off, I found out last week that BH Cosmetics filed for bankruptcy. They're not going to business because I love this mascara, along with so many of their, oops, along with so many of their products. Um, I love, 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 love their blushes, their bronzers, their highlighters, their eyeshadow palettes. So I really hope BH Cosmetics like figures that out because, um, I can't not have BH Cosmetics in my life. You guys know me. I love BH Cosmetics, and you do too. So, <laughs> um, let's not go out of business. Okay, um, but this is the Stellar Lash Mascara. You guys have heard me talking about this before. I bought a full size, but I don't like to have too many mascaras open at a time because mascaras go bad really quickly. You only have like three or four months to go through them before they are just done. So I really love this one. This one's 10 bucks. It's like the better version of Too Faced Better Than Sex. I think that's like the best way to like describe it to. <laughs> um, or like compare it to, you get this beautiful, beautiful like hourglass brush. Oh, it's so good. And then for the Tarte Big Ego Mascara, this is also really good. If you've been here for a long time, you know that I also really like this. Um, I'm wearing this mascara today along with another mascara. <clears throat> Can you tell I'm getting over COVID? Like, <laughs> I just sound sick. I'm out of breath whole nine yards so this is another hourglass brush i think this is more of like a like a it's more of an indent in the hourglass if you know what i mean this is really good i think this retails for like 21 dollars or something um tarte has awesome mascaras i highly recommend this one i think that's my favorite one besides late camera lashes finally i have a couple lip products um ironically i tried them all this month and you know what i love them so um, <laughs> uh, I'm also getting used to wearing glasses too in videos, so it's like weird to see myself filming wearing glasses. Um, this Milani lipstick, I'm wearing it right now. This is in the shade Peony. This is the best. So good. This is like $8.99. I want more of these from Maybelline, uh, not Maybelline, <laughs> from Milani. Um, I don't know what this brand, this like line is. This is the color icon. I need to look into this more. Look right now, because if I don't look now, I never will. The Color Fetish Matte Lipsticks, this is part of the Flora Collection. Okay, that makes sense. So, that's that, love it. Um, and then I also have two lip glosses here. So the first one is the So Juicy. I like it more for the color. It says it's a plumping gloss. This is, 
I think there's a difference between a plumping glass and then it's just a minty glass. This is a minty glass and this is the So Juicy glass from ColourPop in the shade Honeydew. I just kind of put a little bit on top of the lipstick. <sighs> um, but this came out with these. They had like a bunch of like lip glosses, eyeliners, Super Shock cheek products. Um, but I just picked up this. So pretty, perfect for spring. And then the last makeup favorite that I've been loving this month is the NYX This Is Juice Gloss. It's an electrolyte infused color. I have the shade Pomegranate Clout. And this is just like a glossy, like transparent red. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. Um, I don't know. But I want to get a couple other shades. I think I'm going to go to Ulta um, or just order online. Probably going to order online. Um, I'm probably going to order online and get a couple more because I love these. And they are so good. They smell good. Um, there's like a guava one I want, a watermelon one, and then a strawberry. They have so many different colors. They're like eight bucks each. You cannot go wrong. I always like to include a couple lifestyle favorites. So first one, of course, are my glasses. I got them earlier in January and I love them. Um, I'm still kind of getting used to wearing them because I really have not worn glasses since I was like 16 or 17. So it's weird to see myself in glasses, but I just, yeah, I was more of a contact wearer and I still will be. I probably wear my contacts in more videos, but <laughs> Yeah, just wanted to wear my glasses for a couple videos. The last item is a candle. Um, Logan bought this for me <laughs> at Target. Um, I think this is my favorite candle of all time, if I'm gonna be real honest with you. This is the Coconut and Honey Crackling Woodwick Candle from Threshold. This is like the big, the big one. This is like 18 bucks. I hate coconut. <laughs> Because I told them that I wanted this one. And let me find it for you. So I really wanted this candle here. Oh, it's out of stock at my Target? No, that should be illegal. <laughs> um, but it's the Honey Oat Milk and Almond Candle from Target. And I told him, I was like, I really want that one. And he was like, okay, I'll go get that for you. And he could not find it. And um, so he bought me this one. He said it was similar. And normally I hate coconut. Um, it's just not a scent for me. I literally hate it. <laughs> But this smells like, like, like heaven. I don't know how to describe it. So this is what it says on the website. <laughs> it says, um, this scented candle infuses your home with a blend of coconut and pear scents that create an inviting ambiance you're sure to appreciate. Okay, so it doesn't really describe it too much, but oh my gosh, I hate coconut and I love this. I don't even smell coconut. This just smells like a year-round scent that I will always be burning in my house. So I'm gonna do it. And, um, you know, I was in bed a lot this past week because of COVID and having this burning like on my nightstand, you can just hear like the woodwick crackles, like just so peaceful. And so I definitely recommend going to Target and smelling this. This is amazing. Oh, I need to burn that tonight. Okay, <laughs> it does come with a lid. The lid is um, on my nightstand. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Please be sure to like and subscribe and um, ring the bell. I'm here five days a week, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.